All right, so again, we're doing some testing, testing slash sample painting, so duck work. So again, figuring out heights. So um, the GC had notified us that everything was figured at eight and a half configuration. So we're gonna paint everything at eight and a half. So that way from this line where that duck is up, be black. So we're gonna do with this duct work. And so duct work cleaning, uh, simple green works easy right out of the bottle, spray it on, wipe it off. I just did probably about six feet of it. And that's the rag after six feet. So it is a lot of pre-grease on the stuff. So you do have to get the stuff off before you paint it. And you can kind of see from the machining those drip marks. So you want to get it off. And you definitely can tell the difference where it was cleaned and where it wasn't. Uh, maybe on the video, well, on the video I can see it right there. You can see where that rag was. It's almost like it has a yellow film that's gone. Uh, so we just again sprayed it real quick, wiped it off with a rag. It's dry, so Chad's just gonna do a quick spray of that area, just so um, everyone involved can see the ceiling, black, and then the HVAC ductwork black. And your perception just kind of get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, uh, kind of fun too at the same time as we're playing. Um, but if you're getting ready to paint some ductwork on your own, clean, clean, clean. You can see these on camera here. I can see it. The shininess of silver there is it, a big difference in how that looks. Uh, so make sure you clean it first because we're just using black dry fall, which does have a primer aspect to it, but over this metallic stuff, it doesn't matter what kind of dry fall you use. If you do not clean it, it, it will peel off at some point, and no one will warranty the work or the material going on it if it hasn't been cleaned properly. So keep that in mind too. The last thing you want it to do a big commercial job like this, don't clean it and it starts peeling and flaking when it's fully furnished with furniture and people, and you have to go back and do touch-ups and get rid of peeling paint. So, yeah, I'm looking to see how this is going to work. I'll do these little ACDC in the background. <laughs> black is black. some plastic and see what the reveal looks like at eight eight feet eight well eight feet what five you think he said yeah, eight plus five. Right. rock tape you gotta love it all right so there's a line that there's actually looks pretty good i'm kind of i didn't know how it was gonna look but it looks better than i thought it was gonna look so when you're looking at it this way that's the height so it makes sense to have a fit at that level so you don't have to worry about what's behind the wall and not behind what what's there and not there um, yeah, looks better than I thought it would. Um, well, there you go. So we're painting HVAC vents, make sure you clean them, primer, dry fall, whichever you want to use. Um, 
there you go. Got questions on painting commercial spaces, uh, exposed ceilings, even in a basement with wooden ceilings, give us a call. Love to see how we can help you guys out. Hope you have a great day and God bless.